using the past to predict the future is like driving very fast down the freeway while looking through the rear view window. So the past isn't always a good predictor of the future, particularly when you get a huge change. What we're seeing, most people are agreed, is a huge change because for the first time we're going to get things that can replace mundane intellectual labor. When we got things that could replace mundane physical labor, like digging ditches, um, there was something else for people to do. But now, what are the people in call centers who are going to get displaced by an AI that's more patient and more knowledgeable and much cheaper than them? What are they going to do? I don't think AI is going to create a lot of new jobs. It will create new jobs, but not as many as it displaces. And I think that's one of the reasons why the companies are pumping so much money in. If you ask, where do they expect to get back these tens or hundreds of billions of dollars they're pumping in? If they can sell you something that will allow you to replace a lot of expensive workers with a lot of cheap AIs, um, that's worth a lot. Mm -hmm.